Alright, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit here with the air ride system. Not too much here, just, just a simple little fix stuff for um, what could be a problem. Uh, since I'm already over here, sometimes trailers will have a valve right about here. This one does not, that's why I can't show you it, but sometimes you'll see a box right there with the valve on it. That'll be a dump valve for the air ride system. Now this one doesn't have it, so when the airbags are deflated, that's the first thing I check is make sure that valve is in the correct position. That it's in the normal position, not in the dump position. All right, now, okay, we got here, we got our bags right here, hooked up, we got air coming in, and right over here is the leveling valve. Now, normally, this leveling valve sits lower, um, so if you see where the arm is at, it's actually hitting on the, the hose. Normally I see that arm in the opposite direction. Um, I ended up disconnecting that arm earlier because I uh, rotated it 180 degrees out to where it normally is. But when I did that, I was also concerned about if I hooked it back up. Was the rod going to actually start interfering on the, frame, on the trailer's frame now? And... Uh, be at risk of breaking. That's the only reason I hooked it back up the same way it is you now it originally was. And anyway, that's a simple thing there. All I had to do was uh, disconnect the, uh, yeah, basically hook a, a crescent wrench up on one side and then a box, or a, 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 a ratchet on the other side and uh, disconnect the, the input arm, or the rod. I'll show you that. All right, so this, Part, uh, this bolt right there all I have to do is disconnect that and then rotate the arm uh, clockwise 180 degrees and that got the airbags to inflate uh, again I would have ideally liked to have it sitting aft because usually on any other trailer that's the position it is normally in uh, so anyway we just hooked it back up and off it went we're good 